All right, everybody, uh, good morning. Thank you for your patience. Just uh, finished uh, basically a picture gallery up there with the whole locker room, it seemed. Uh, welcome to the uh, press conference for the Winnipeg Jets Hall of Fame induction ceremony going on tonight prior to our game against the Anaheim Ducks. Our newest inductees, Mr. Tamo Salani and Mr. Teppo Newmanen. Uh, the usual protocol, please uh, grab a microphone, identify yourself, who you're with, so that Teppo and Tamo know who they're talking to. And uh, we'll quickly open it up to uh, questions from the floor. Whoever has the mic. By the way, you guys see that who are from uh, California. Nice tan. <laughs> Some people have here. Yeah. Uh, same up here. <laughs> same Timu, uh, California. Kelly Moore from 680 TJOB. Uh, welcome back. Uh, it, does it, I, I guess, you know, this was obviously be planned to have Anaheim here, Anaheim here rather, but we'll also with Dallas Aikens part of it as well. Uh, because of where he was when you scored that goal, does that make it just a little more special? Yeah, he asked me that if, if he can get Hall of Fame too because he catch the club. And I said, absolutely. And, uh, no, it's pretty cool, you know, and it's great timing that the Ducks are here and uh, two of my favorite teams. And, uh, I've had great uh, memories from both, so um, it's going to be a special night. And uh, obviously, Dallas also as a coach, you know, it's uh, it's a small hockey world, and uh, and it's uh, nice to be a part of uh, that tonight. Uh, Teppo, have you been able to use the time here in Winnipeg to to get caught up maybe with some people that you might not have had the opportunity if you hadn't been here for two or three days? Yeah, we we, we had uh, oh, it's been three four busy days here and. Um, and my daughter's here, so we've been driving around Winnipeg, uh, River Heights, and showing all the... He couldn't find his house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was painted green. Uh, it used to be white, but, but, but yeah, everything was there, so it, was, it, it, it has been nice to, to have family here again. And, and, um, and my daughter's here. They haven't been in Winnipeg, so it's the first time, and, you know, it's been, it's been great to uh, show them uh, the city and where we used to hang out and tell stories of, of the past and meet all, all, all the friends we have here. So, uh, so really, uh, really, really great time and, uh, and it's been fun. Did you show all the bars and the Palomina club? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything was, everything. Timu, uh, Teppo, John Liu, TSN, a uh, question for you both. Um, that you don't have a playing connection to this particular building. So when you have been going around the city and seeing that the Winnipeg Arena is gone, the Queen's portrait is somewhere in storage somewhere, um, how do you process being back in the city and, and, and you're, going to be, you're going to be celebrated and honored here tonight in this building? Well, obviously I played uh, in this building a few times. Uh, but obviously, the, all the great memories are from the old Winnipeg Arena. It's, and it's kind of sad that it's not uh, exist anymore. But, and I, actually, I flew back here when they had the ceremony for, for the old arena. But, uh, you know, obviously, it's a little different. But uh, I love that the, the rink is here in downtown. And uh, we were actually laughing yesterday at a little bit different facilities here now than in the back of old days. But, uh, you know, that, that was a very historic building and, uh, and great memories and a lot, a lot of history, you know. But obviously it's a kind of a different organization too, so uh, I think it's fine like that. Yeah. Well, uh, um, for sure it's different times and, uh, and uh, history has changed and moved on and like everything should move on and uh, get better. And now, now this, is, this is a great facility here and we have... Uh, our memories at the uh, old arena and uh, you know we were just laughing today remember the times when you know after the games you le leave the rink and you step outside to the parking lot and start looking for your car and it's like minus 35 and windy and your hair is all wet and you know it's it ch things have changed but uh, you know it's 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 all around hockey and it, and uh, and that's what matters do you anticipate that tonight will be emotional experiences for you? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. It's uh, it's a big honor and uh, and uh, uh, a lot of memories and uh, uh, for sure it's going to be emotional time and uh, and it's nice we can uh, we can we can uh, share it together and with our families. So uh, so yeah, get nervous about it, but excited. 
Yeah, obviously, it's so special to go uh, and do this for with, with Teppo. Obviously, Teppo was a huge factor for me when I came here. Uh, he was like an older brother for me at the time, and uh, and uh, with his help, you know, I didn't really have to worry about anything else. You know, uh, we were joking about yesterday that I, not many times I even knew what time we have practice, but he knew, so I was just following him, <laughs> following him, and. Uh, and sometimes I ask in the plane that we, which city we are going. So I just I was very uh, focused in hockey and I didn't have to worry about anything else. So it was, uh, he did a great job. Yeah, it was, it was challenging because we were back then, you know, we were flying commercials and we were changing airplanes and uh, hanging in at the Minnesota airports and trying to find, you know, McDonald's or something to eat between the flights. And, and always yeah. middle seats. <laughs> <laughs> So there was a lot. There was a lot of. Uh, it wasn't just buses at t this time. It was airplanes this time too. So it was. It was. It was fun and challenging. And but, you know, it was good. Samu and, and Teppo Murata Tesh with the Athletic in Winnipeg. Um, one of the other changes, I guess, is you know from from your era is that we hear all these stories about all oh, street hockey and River Heights or you know fan engagement and all of that sort of stuff, just kind of out in the wild of the city. I'm wondering if you could each share maybe a memory of something like that. Yeah, obviously, you know, like uh, the one thing here is that uh, when it's a small city and when it's getting cold, there's not which is a good thing because you can focus on hockey. But we were young guys and we want to stay active. And that's why I said that the team was so close to each other because uh, almost every practice we went to lunch together somewhere. And then later we went to play pool or whatever, bowling or something together, you know. Uh, so we didn't have so many friends out of the team. So all our buddies were actually our teammates. And, uh, you know, and then I was super active. I, could, I can't uh, stay still, still, so I saw kids playing uh, street hockey in the, in the street, and I said, can, can I join? And they're like, oh, sure. <laughs> and uh, well, it was a great time. I, there's such great memories, and, I, and especially when I was young here, uh, I was very active with, uh, with uh, pretty much everything out, outside. So uh, uh, I always said that I'm very proud and thankful that I started here. Uh, the hockey means so much for this city, and uh, and uh, when you realize that, and uh, it's just uh, really appreciate that what you do, and uh, and if if you can give great ex excitement for the people here, and I always said if you treat people well uh, here and you play well as a hockey player, uh, you're gonna be a king here. So uh, great memories. Yeah, like Tamu said, it it, 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 it it our teams are. Or even before, when I got here, '88, it was it, it, there, there was like a routines on, on a team uh, that made made the team spend time uh, a lot of time together uh, off the ice as well. And because uh, you know it's a, it's it's a smaller city, so everybody lives close by, so it was easy to easy to get get everybody to get together. And uh, and um, and. When you do that, then you you get involved with the community and people around you, and uh, then you find out who you're going to play for, and you know you have to have a reason, re, re, really a re reason, and uh, who you play for, and then then you, you get to know uh, your city and your community and people around you, and uh, and uh, and uh, and that really really. Uh, I think made the teams uh, stronger and closer on the ice as well. Um, this one also for both of you. I, I assume that at some point you've considered, and this has happened before, you're going to be honored. You've had long careers, respected careers. At stages like this, how does it feel compared to how you imagined it might be at some point earlier in your career? Well, to be honest, uh, I, 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 we know both we think that, you know, we would never imagine that what kind of career we would have and um, uh, but at the time when you play you don't think about this kind of stuff that what could happen uh, and how far you can go and what kind of uh, things will happen afterwards you just want to play as, as well you can and, and good things happen or they don't and uh, but if somebody would told me like earlier in my career that what uh, what will happen and, and and what kind of career I would have, and all this Hall of Fame uh, 
things. Uh, I would probably tell the guy that you're crazy. So, uh, but you know, again, like uh, uh, we have, we both have been uh, around great uh, people, great players for pretty much whole life, and uh, and we were ab able to play with the great players and, and fairly healthy too. So usually good things happen uh, when you put all those things together. And uh, but I, I think that it's a humble feeling to be here again tonight. You know, it's. Uh, uh, it's a big honor for sure, and uh, and, and sharing this with uh, obviously with the Anaheim people and Anaheim team, uh, it's, it makes it even more special, you know. Welcome back uh, to Winnipeg, gents. Uh, Mike McIntyre from the Winnipeg Free Press. Timo, you talked about not being able to stay still. Uh, I think you caused a bit of a buzz yesterday. Uh, you were spotted playing pickleball. Are you as good of a pickleball player as you were a hockey player? And uh, not quite. <laughs> no, but it's a it's a fun uh, fun sport. It's a very social sport, and it's not too difficult. So we had a great time. Bunch of our local friends. We went to play a couple hours, and uh, and of course the beer tastes better after that. A little sweat. So uh, no, I, I I love I love sports, you know. And today I think we're gonna go play tennis a little bit afternoon, and before we come back here. So. Uh, I, I, I enjoy do, 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 uh, do things like that. Obviously, you can't play golf right now. Right. The weather, weather is uh, just a little too much, but... Uh, I was going to say, I imagine it's an indoor tennis game today, not outdoor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, just a technical question. You wore two different numbers during your time in Winnipeg, so uh, maybe take us through. What was the debate, or was it a no-brainer to go with 13 uh, uh, as the number that's so going up? Eight has always been my favorite uh, number. It has been following me like a nice way even our first street was number eight and my first uh, mor motorcycle i went to buy it was number eight and stuff so it's it, i knew it's going to be my number but then when i came here I, obviously randy carl had number eight and when i played soccer i was 13 so and i always loved that number 13 and uh, so then when uh, when uh, carl retired and i think it was my third year i, I took the third 13 uh, eight here and uh, so but, but somehow, I, in, in the Winnipeg era, uh, in my mind, I was number 13. And uh, obviously, the Ducks, uh, actually, I was one year 13 uh, in the Ducks, too, when I came back after 2000, I think it was 2005, after the lockout year. I was one year number 13, which is great number two. And I almost kept that, but uh, I still, eight is the main number. Hey, uh, it's Scott Bill from the Big Sun. Uh, just wondering if you guys would share any of your best Palomino stories. Or no, I'm I'm kidding. No. Well, I almost <laughs> thought it. Unless you want. It. <laughs> Unless you want. I don't know if you guys saw any of the Borea Salming stuff in Toronto on the weekend, and just kind of like, you know, it's been years since Borea played, and and for you guys, you know, it's been years since you played here. Does it surprise you at all that how much the fans are still? kind of behind you and, and support you guys and, and that sort of thing? Well, with the Buria thing, that, that's, that was really, really emotional to watch. And, uh, and, and uh, um, growing, up, growing up, idolizing him, um, uh, it was really, really touching uh, to see it on TV. And... Uh, and um, I guess I guess you know you grow up you have you, you follow teams you follow follow players and uh, and uh, that's part of your uh, uh, youth or growing up and uh, and um, so that that really stays with you stays with you rest of your life and uh, motivates you and uh, and um, and. Uh, and keeps the positive uh, uh, memories uh, with you. So, uh, so in tough times, you can you can always go back 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 to the past and uh, and leave the leave the memories like uh, like we have here here. So, uh, so I think I think it's 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 the it's the time timeline that you know it's not going to come back, but it's 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 special. Yeah, and and like I said, I, I think especially in Canada, like like the hockey is such a huge huge thing what unites everybody, and uh, uh, same thing in Berea, like what impact he left in the Toronto, 
uh, and all, after all these years, he's still a king there. And that just shows that, you know, like how much people appreciate your, your effort out there. And then, of course, off the ice too. I think we all hockey players are very, very uh, uh, thankful and happy uh, that we can be a part of the community too with the charities and do the right things and be a good role models and stuff. And, and again, like here, like a perfect example. If you're a two-year-old uh, little baby or 80-year-old uh, older, older person, they love hockey. They, they, they live and breathe with hockey. And uh, then it's um, always amazing when you come here and you realize that passion uh, for hockey and... Uh, just when you realize that, that you can give some excit uh, excitement for them and, and something that they, they get excited. And mm -hmm. people always, always ask me, like, how we have our nerves or, or energy to sign everybody's autographs and stuff. I said, if you can make one little extra smile and make people happy here, like, it's going to take two, three, four, five minutes of my time. It's not a big deal. So, And they appreciate that. And that's why I think that... It's one reason why I've been so popular here. I'm a very open guy. I like the people. I like to talk to people, and I like to please fans. You know, and I think it's a it's it's a two-way street, and uh, and it has been. That's why this place has always been very special. Uh, Sean Reynolds of Sportsnet. Teppo, what was it like to see? What were the emotions like when you saw the Dale Howarchuk statue? Well. Uh, just overwhelmed um, coming here as a 20 year old uh, uh, I learned so much of veteran players we had we had Dale we had Randy Carlisle Laurie Boschman and Thomas Dean on, on, on our team and uh, I think I think those players really showed or, or I learned so much from them on the ice and off the ice, how to how to prepare and how to be a professional and uh, and uh, and uh, how to how to behave on the ice and off the ice, and uh, I think that really really uh, really uh, helped my career and and uh, and and so on. But uh, you know, Dale. Um, uh, Deserved all, 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 all the credit. He was, he was a great captain, great leader, uh, and just a fantastic person. So, uh, so I'm, I'm really, 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 really happy and and uh, glad that Dale gets the recognition and uh, he deserves. And you guys mentioned that that relief ceremony. I, I can imagine, you know, when you're part of that brotherhood that you were talking about, how you're still a king in the city after all that time. If it's the Leafs, if it's the Bruins, if the, it's the Canadians, you know, there's a lot of history to there. The Jets are doing a really good job of relinking this, you know, new team that was lost for a while to, to their history, and you guys are clearly a part of that. What is unique about being part of the, the Jets brotherhood compared to maybe some of those other teams? Well, like I said, I, I think that hockey, uh, it's just for everybody here. And, uh, like, it's amazing, like, how much power the, the hockey can give for the people and the fans and the team. And, and the team has done a great job. Uh, obviously, Mark Chipman uh, with his all the True North charity stuff and everything. Uh, it's, hockey is a one side, but then giving back for the community and, and the fans and the people who needs help that's a, they, they have really adopted that very well and i think the people appreciate that and they 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 like to support the hockey team uh, maybe one reason because of that you know and obviously what you do on the ice that's another thing but uh, i always said that this is there's a reason why they call it friendly manitoba people really look after each other here and, uh, and they want to make sure everybody's doing well and uh, when everybody pitch in you know that's that's Winnipeg, you know, and uh, and people can be very proud of what they have done here and how they live the life and how they look after each other here. Ali Losov with Valley Sports and the Ducks. Tim, uh, must you root for the Jets tonight or can you cheer for the Ducks? That's, that's a tough question. You know, I think, uh, I just hope it's going to be a great, uh, great game. Obviously, uh, both teams have a big, big part of... Uh, my success and, uh, you know, uh, I hope it's going to go to overtime and a penalty <laughs> shot because that's what I like.
Tommy, do you have any questions in Finnish or? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah we'll okay. So I want to thank everybody. He's a, he's a V up. We, we, we give him one on one. It's a long one. <laughs> yes. We talk about Palomino stories. Yeah. 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 And those hard, uh, those hard dogs, when we left like two in the morning, unbelievable. <laughs> okay, we'll wrap this up. For, thank you all for coming uh, this morning. Thank you very much.